But first, back here at home, it is a unique partnership. Hunters and the San Antonio Food Bank. Deer season is underway here in Texas, and the San Antonio Food Bank is hoping that hunters can help provide local families with food. Tiffany Huertas explains what's new this year with the Hunters for the Hungry program. Today. Travis Wiest has spent a lot of time outdoors. I grew up hunting and uh, with my dad. While it was a time for family bonding, it later became much more than that. We need to take uh, deer off, off the property or off ranches. We were, we were hunting because of uh, needing to keep the populations in balance. And, and so it, it just seemed like a great fit to be able to, uh, to take a deer that that we could uh, off, the, off the property and then donate to someone who, who really needed the meat. He's talking about the Hunters for the Hungry, a program where hunters can drop off legally tagged deer to a participating meat processor and eventually makes its way to the San Antonio Food Bank. We have dozens of processors that are independent organizations, for-profit companies that, that we're paying the dollar twenty a pound to process the venison that hunters might drop off at their locations. But this year, we partnered with Trinity Oaks, where the San Antonio Food Bank has staff and volunteers that process venison. Eric Cooper with the San Antonio Food Bank says in the past, hunters would be asked to make a financial contribution when donating to a processor. But this year, they are giving hunters an option to donate when they purchase their license. Now that money will come through Texas Parks and Wildlife to the San Antonio and New Braunfels Food Bank. We'll use that to pay the processors where the hunters will go to drop off their deer. The food bank's goal is to collect 200,000 pounds of venison. We distribute in a little two pound chub of ground venison. Um, it's a great product for us just because it's a very lean protein. The number one needed item for us for food is protein. Over 10 million servings of venison have been provided to Texans in need through the Hunters for the Hungry program. I think we as Texas and land owners and just stewards over natural resources that we have that opportunity to, to do what's right, to be respectful in that, um, be humble and grateful because this is a life of a deer that is being harvested to help nourish another life. Cooper says they want to eventually process the meat at their facility when their culinary center opens in 2021. If you'd like to know more, we've attached a link to the Feeding Texas website, which operates the Hunters for the Hungry program with this story at ksat.com slash news at nine. Myra.